Update. Wife is being lazy and not helping provide for us. The guys just wanted to throw an update. Here after my post a few days ago. Original art slash slash wood. Dot reddit dot com slash slash relationships slash comments slash it four thousand three hundred sixty one slash my word face being glazed in the ping provided for slash touch sauce shower and redo my support nami and I read through all of the comments and I took some steps to try to see through her perspective. I set aside my anger and my hurt and tried to go to out what I told her very bluntly. This is not what we committed to when we married. We told each other that we would have a good life and I feel cheated out of the safety we promised each other. I explained that I couldn't keep bearing the weight of the financial part of our lives alone. She didn't take it well. Surprise, surprise. She accused me of not loving her enough to be the man in our relationship. I was a little confused considering I wasn't aware that we had stepped into the 1930s. I didn't want to be the sole breadwinner. I never wanted to take any of her independence, and I never wanted to be her only source of anything. I did my best to stay calm while we talked. She was upset and was throwing things. She broke a few of the items she purchased from Amazon. A new hobby had emerged, and she started buying things again. I told her she needed to get a job and start doing her part. We need it. I need it. We don't have children. We don't have pets due to the whole rules in the complex we rent from. There's no reason for her to be home 24 slash 7 and be doing nothing. I explained that it'd help her find a good therapist to start working on these issues. She has, and I was told, that she didn't need a therapist. At this point, I'm just tired. I'm not arguing anymore. I'm not going to do this again. I packed an overnight bag to go stay at my parents' house. She was crying and yelling as I left, and it killed me to just walk away because she's the love of my life. I'm going to spend tonight here at my parents, and then I'll go back tomorrow. She needs help, and it's breaking me. I didn't want this. I've done everything to make her happy and keep her comfortable, and all I've accomplished is just to make her into this giant mooch. I've been asking myself, how do I fix this? Can I even fix this? But I realize there's nothing I can do except stop being a doormat. She doesn't respect me. She doesn't care about what she is doing to me. How could someone be so selfish? But who knows? That's probably a story for another day. But thanks, everyone. Stay safe out there. Too long, don't read. Confronted my wife about her lack of financial responsibility to our lives. Was met with tons of anger, and now I'm sleeping at my parents for the night to let her cool off. Just wanted to share an update for all those who were cemented with really helpful advice. The fact that she was throwing and breaking things is a really bad sign, especially following such a simple and reasonable request as I need to contribute to this relationship. You did a great job communicating your needs and removing yourself from the situation when it became volatile. I hope staying at your parents brings you some reprieve clarity. My wife became a psalm and we lived slash live on a single income, but only after we started having kids. He worked for years before then, and we saved a lot of money after all of the kids were in school. She asked if she could become a permanent psalm, and I agreed. It was a mutual decision. I hate to see you going through all of this with your wife. If she's home all day, no pets, no kids, etc. That just doesn't lend itself to a physically and mentally healthy lifestyle. For us, it was a mutual decision, and I am certain that our kids benefited from it. If my wife hadn't changed her mind about having kids, she would have kept working. I wish... The best for both of you, edited to add. My wife, business education and experience were so much help for us. She handled all, all of our finances, budget and investments, and it did really well. Marriage is a partnership, and with my wife at home after having kids, she still financially contributed by smartly managing our income and investments. She is the reason we retired early. I once heard someone say something that really makes a lot of sense for me. Not all relationships break because of lack of love. You can break a relationship due to incompatibility, careers, different goals in life, or just because someone is being 
a bad influence in your life. It doesn't mean you don't love them anymore. Just that you end up hurting each other more than bringing each other happiness. That doesn't mean you won't try to make it work. To make a love last, I believe you have to try to make it work. Come into things and even change in some points, but it all comes down to this. Both parties need to be on board and try together, and even then, there's no guarantee it'll work. You try. If you feel that you want to keep trying. That is ok if you want to stop trying. That's also ok. Just keep this in mind. It's not about love. Love will always be there, and you're playing your part to try and make this work. Is the other person trying as well? Is the same amount of effort that's being put by them to make this relationship work enough for you?